We spend 90% of our time indoors. We really need to look at the role our homes are playing then because they're clearly so central to our lives and not necessarily in a good way. We're actually being cut off from outside and nature. I think it's clear that we're all feeling that. If you walk past any city park on a sunny day, they're absolutely rammed with people in tiny little spaces, all just trying to see some greenery and get some air. So I think although we've become disconnected from nature, we all seem to be trying to get back to it or to bring some of that into our indoor spaces. It's about bringing in daylight as much as you can, but also bringing in greenery or opening the window to bring in the sounds and the smells of what's outside and bring it into your indoor space. Because we live in a, in a terraced house, it can be quite difficult to bring in more light because you haven't got walls at the side. So you've got to look to different areas and ways of bringing in light, and that's usually from above. And that can be better anyway because you, can, you, you get views of the sky and that's obviously a limitless expanse. So that's a great way to bring light in. So we did that in two or three places just to to bring more light in. At the top of the stairs, it was the only dark spot in the whole house when we moved in. Now there isn't a dark spot in the house. It's amazing what a difference it made. I do tend to migrate around the house um, because I seem to work better in daylight. And there's a little spot on my sofa, which in the winter just gets the sun at three o'clock in the afternoon. So I don't even work from a desk then, I work on the sofa. We have been subconsciously drawn to the lighter, brighter spaces in a house. There's a reason why all the CEOs get the corner office, isn't that? Because they have all the big glass windows. <laughs> <laughs>